Hello, my name is Mark Unger. I'm a solo practitioner in San Antonio, Texas. I'm also a family lawyer, and I interpret everything practicing family law to be disruption. Uh, it's because of that that I started to connect the dots and think about the new mandatory e-filing that's coming down the pike, and, and I started doing this about 10 years ago with the e-filing, and my goal was to connect the dots and merge the mediums and connect things that otherwise weren't being connected. Um, now, the goal here is to identify what is uh, disruption, and it comes in the form of, of a lot of different things, and we're looking to make disruption uh, yield to adaptation and adaptation to creativity. Now, we have, I use the Kubler-Ross model, anger, denial, uh, bargaining, depression, acceptance to try and connect these things. We have denial all over the place. We have denial in life, such as marriage. Uh, how did I get married to this person, which follows divorce? How come I'm getting divorced? We have kids, dogs, and we have people that run into us behind in cars. We have denial in technology. How can we possibly make a choice if we're going to have things thrown at us in different forms and different uh, operating systems? Apple was disrupted by Android, which was disrupted by Microsoft, and then there's BlackBerry, which doesn't really disrupt much, but it's BlackBerry. We have denial in law. We have the that big law failures that we've read about over the last year. We have the massive challenges to the hourly billing model. We have the Supreme Court, uh, which in their wisdom, and it may be a good thing or not, are giving us forms and now mandatory e-filing. And it's, it's become a perfect storm, in fact. Uh, and we have e-filing from the courts, which essentially was running off a pay-as-you-go model, which relied on people using it, but people weren't using it, so the money was flowing in one way. And then Harris County decided, that, uh, some of our friends, very smart ones, that they might secede from the union. Then in the perfect storm came the 2008 uh, crash. People's money dried up. The IOLTA funds dried up. And people no longer then, once they got back in the game, wanted to spend the money on lawyers. And we get angry. And in fact, the anger uh, is something that really comes from being told what to do. And we're looking, in essence, at the natural inclination to fight back. But we really have no power. And so we're looking then at bargaining and depression. Can we bargain with the, the people that are telling us what to do? Well, can we have more time? Well, you've had 10 years. Uh, can we have some more time? Well, I don't know. We'll see, but let's see if we can do it. Depression it is just sad, and, and there's no way to get around that, and you can't do anything about it. And then comes acceptance, and we have to learn to adapt. We have to learn to learn. We have to be big kids again, and we have to become relevant in this market. Otherwise, we're going to fail. And if we become relevant, we will thrive. We will do things that help us proceed upward in a way that we thought about when we were in law school and when we were young and we could do anything. I always wanted to be that red guy in the sea of a bunch of other guys following me. I don't know why, I just like that picture probably, but we'll do things like lose client email for extranets and have automatic payment systems and we'll find success. And keep in mind, folks, this is what it looks like. It's not a straight line. It's all jumbled up, but we will become more efficient, we will reinvent the law, and we will adapt to disruption. And we will be creative. So if there's anything I could tell you today, it's be creative. So change your circumstances. Find a nice place to sit with your favorite computers. Paint a cow. They call this art. If they can do it, you can do it. Put a happy face on your pancakes, or if all else fails, write a poem about it. I wrote a poem 10 years ago, and I'd like to leave you with it. I wrote it with the late Robert Frost uh, as we were about to launch the e-filing program from a Starbucks. It's called Stopping by Starbucks on a Weekday Morning. It's really just a way to avoid working hard. It goes something like this. Whose courts these are, I think I know. His office not in earshot, though. My boss will miss me as I drink a cup of Starbucks Java Joe. My MacBook Pro must think it weird to stop without a courthouse near when filing deadlines loom and scream and statutes cry a limitations tear. He gives his motherboard a thunder to ask if I had made a blunder. The only other sounds the <laughs> of foaming milk with latte under. But I upload on text file online, EFSP is my call sign, for I am filing brand new lawsuits, Wi-Fi legal pleadings on time. My Starbucks coffee, dark and deep, but I have client promises to keep and suits to e-file before I sleep and suits to e-file before I sleep. 
I hope some of this disrupts you, help, disruption helps you in your adaptation in the future. Thank you. Thank you.